hi guys welcome back to my channel today for you guys as you guys can tell from the title of this video i'm going to be talking to you guys about my and my first um, trimester I'm super excited to announce to you guys that I am pregnant with baby number two um, and we are excited I wish I would have recorded my expression um, or my reaction to um, the pregnancy test but I didn't think it was going to be positive and if you guys want to know why then go ahead and keep on watching this could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Okay, guys. So, um, starting January, I was like, mm, maybe we should start trying for another baby because baby's about to be two years old, um, which is Brian. And I was just kind of like, oh, he's not little anymore, so maybe we should start trying. So I started tracking my ovulation and just kind of learning how all of that um, works or whatnot. And um, just kind of tracking my period and just kind of knowing um, how all of that works out. Um, and I did um, and I learned and it was very easy and I knew the days that I was ovulating. So I use um, the app Pedo. Um, and it's a period tracker and it also tells you the days you're ovulating and you can, um, jot down when you're, like, when you have sex, um, when you're ovulating, um, when you have your period, how heavy, how slow, just all of that good stuff that, um, comes with your monthly cycle. Um, and it lets you know how high you have, um, that month of getting pregnant or that week or that day or whatever. Um, so I was just kind of learning how to use it. So like I would say January and February, I was just kind of learning how to use it. Um, so I would say that we were actively trying, but at the same time, um, just being less precautious of it, if you would say. But yeah, um, April, I was 15 days late on my period. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm definitely pregnant. I took three pregnancy tests and they were all negative. So I was just like, maybe it's too soon. Maybe I should do a blood one. So I called my, um, OBGYN and they went ahead and did me a blood test. Um, so they withdraw some blood and the test results were going to be in, in 24 to 48 hours. So I got it. I got the answer. 48 hours later, um, that day I started my period before they called me, so I auto automatically knew I was not pregnant, but I have heard of some people being pregnant and getting their period, so I was just like, I don't know, so I didn't believe it till they told me, yeah, you're not pregnant, it came back negative, so I was just kind of like, well, that's weird, so I started my period in May. And then I knew my ovulation day and I was just kind of like, oh my God, like maybe this will be the month. And surely it was. I didn't get my period June the 1st, which was the day that I was supposed to get my period because it had changed from April because it was usually always the, the a week before um, the month ended. So it changed to the first of the month. So, I've always been very regular with my period. I've been always, like, when it says I'm going to get my period, I get my period. I've never been irregular. So, for April to have been that way, it was just like, oh my god, I'm pregnant. You know what I'm saying? But, unfortunately, I wasn't. But I did. And I'm excited to announce that we are expecting baby number two. Yeah, so, the first person I told was obviously Brian. And then he was so excited. He was like, oh my God, we're going to have another baby. Our family is growing. He was a little like shocked, I would say, because we, we, we were trying. But just because you get that pregnancy test positive, you're just kind of shocked. Like, wow, like this time we do have a positive. You know what I'm saying? So like, even if you know that there's a possibility, you're always shocked because you're like, it's actually positive. So... I do have it here. I have it in this little bag, um, and it's all beat up because this is Brian's 
I gave it to him when we were dating with a little gift inside for Valentine's Day. So we've kept it for all these years um, with just a bunch of stuff in it. So we've moved so many times that it's just like really ruined. But um, I really like this bag. It's just so cute. I think I got it at the dollar section at Target, I believe. But I don't remember, so I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's just so beautiful. I love it because it's like white. I love it because it's like white and gold and it's just so cute so I like told my mom already but I told her not to tell anybody I don't want to tell I don't want to tell anybody till we know the gender because we want to do a gender reveal party this time around because we didn't get to do that with the first um, and if you guys want to know why let me know in the comment section below and I can do a whole separate video on that um, because trust me <laughs> It requires it so this time we want to do things a whole lot more different we want to like it to be a surprise for all of our friends and family we want it to be already known if we're having a boy or a girl um, so yeah um, so this is how I announced to my mom I gave her this bag and uh, we went to the dollar store really quickly to get her um, this little gift it's a little baby bib and we got it um, yellow and it says best friends um, because this is a gift to the baby from his big brother or her big brother um, so it says best friend on it so I feel like that's so cute and they're gonna be best friends so I definitely like that it said that and also because it was yellow because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet so this is how we announced to my mom and I also put the pregnancy test inside of Brian Cito's shoe that he never used that we got at Target for him. Um, and I just put it in there and she opened it and was like, you're pregnant. Okay, there. We're focused. And she's like, what? You're pregnant? So, yes, I am pregnant, guys. I'm so excited. Those lines showed up so fast that I was just like shaking um so yeah but we're so excited and i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit of how i've been feeling um and just kind of how different this pregnancy is than my first one um with my first one i didn't feel anything till i was around i would say 11 12 weeks pregnant um because i didn't find out till i was 11 12 weeks pregnant um, but with this one, I just kind of knew because I know my body now and I just listened to it and I knew something was just not, not right, but it was just like I knew I was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm just so happy and excited. Um, I can't wait for the baby to be here, but I'm also excited to find out what it's going to be and just kind of what this pregnancy is going to bring. But I've just been feeling um, very nauseous, uh, thrown up a lot. Um, I've been craving a lot and I'm just so tired and sleepy. Um, and I am a very sleepy, tired person. But now it's just like all I want to do is sleep and be tired like 24 seven. So um, it's just very different with Braincito. I was tired and sleepy, but definitely a little bit more active I would say like I actually I actually was like more more active um and just wouldn't eat at all so yeah so I'm just it's just crazy to me that I'm pregnant again and I'm gonna have another baby um, so Brian Cito is definitely feeling the fact that I'm pregnant. He is very attached to me. He doesn't want to let go of me. He wants my attention 24-7. Um, he wants Brian's attention. Um, he does get very jealous when we talk about the baby. Brian is a very affectionate dad, so he loves to talk to the baby, and he's already talking to my belly, um, so I just think it's so cute to, like, relive these little cute moments, so I do think it's really cute that I get to relive these moments, but it's just crazy to me, like, I'm so excited, you guys don't even know, um, but yeah, it's just so beautiful, this pregnancy is gonna be a whole lot more different 
than my other pregnancy um so yeah i'm just so excited it's kind of how i told my mom but again i just needed to tell my mom because i crave her food a lot so i needed her to know why i was going to be craving her food um but yeah i'm trying to keep it a secret from all my rest of my family so this video will be going up once i am done with my first trimester um or maybe a little bit after that so maybe when i'm almost done with my second trimester so these videos will be a little bit delayed but you guys are going to be in the loop um if it's a boy we already know what we're going to name it and if it's a girl we also already know because we just had these names from when briancito um was in my tummy so we just really love these names and we're going to be doing a name review a name reveal and um a gender reveal so you guys are going to be coming along with us in this next journey and i will definitely have brian join us in a future video but with that being said this is the most exciting second chapter of becoming a mom and i'm so excited to share this journey with you guys and if you guys are pregnant and you guys are comfortable with sharing how far along you guys are don't forget to leave that in the comment section below but with all that being said i'm going to end this video i hope you guys like my first mini first trimester update and announcement i hope you guys enjoyed it and if it was like that don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to comment down in the section in the comment section below and also don't forget to hit that notification bell when you subscribe so that you guys are um alerted every time that i upload a pregnancy update or any other type of video here on my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video Drop two mixtapes in six months. Whoop, breaking as hard as me. I don't bother with these me. Drop two mixtapes in six months. Whoop, breaking as hard as me. I don't bother with these me. Drop two mixtapes in six months. Whoop, breaking as hard as me. I don't bother with these me. Drop two mixtapes in six months. Whoop, breaking as hard as me.